Good morning. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am doing a quick video, and this is going to be awfully quick, of the GL INET. Um, oh, what is this thing called? It is called the GL. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. GL uh, GLX three thousand NR. Okay. So this is a and it's really good, typical. Okay, so this is a five G router. Now it's a lot bigger than what I was what I was replacing. I am replacing who can find this? It's a ZTE MU five thousand and one. And as you can see the size difference is quite that bit bigger now i'm running this off of my um love them or hate them uh this is oh, what is this thing called uh charge asap uh something or other it's a charge asap flash pro plus it's a 92 and a half watt hour battery in this and so it's finally booted i plugged it in a minute ago so you've got an internet there's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wi-fi so cellular receive reception is currently two two out of four bars so you have six aerials two are for 5g and then these four at the back are for actually Five, uh, four of them are for 5G, sorry. These th uh, these four are for 5G. One, two, three, four. And then these two are for Wi-Fi. As you can possibly see on the side, Wi-Fi 6. Now it is Wi-Fi 6, but it's not 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6. It's Wi-Fi 6 on a 5 gigahertz band. And um, yeah, so this doohickey, this device runs uh, OpenWRT as I've just lost my internet connection. Don't know why. See, I had this stable a couple of days back and I've just plugged it back in again. Now, I'm running off this battery bank. So, I'm wondering is that anything to do with a battery bank? But the battery bank is telling me if I can get that to show up correctly, it's taking 12 volts. At just under a half an amp, so it's about five, three and a half to five watts of a, of power. Now at ninety five watt hours, ninety two and a half watt hours. If we say ninety watt hours, five watts divided by ninety is ten and eight, so eighteen, eighteen, eighteen and a half hours. It could run this this battery bank could potentially run this for about 18 and a half hours so many internet comes back online I'm just gonna show you quickly um, around this I'm gonna unplug it well I do it so by the way how I'm managing to charge this or run this it does not have a USB-C connection so I've got this adapter which I got off of Amazon which converts USB-C, so standard USB-C power delivery, if it will go into focus, so USB-C power delivery, and outputs to one of many different types of output, so the one I'm using is that one, which is needed by the GLI now, and um, yeah, so let me just give you a quick walk around on this, so first things first, GLI now, um, these run open WRT so this is fully hackable modifiable application version uh, or modifiable uh, router um, I have tail scale I have zero tier installed on this uh, you can install your own custom um, whatever you want basically um, custom anything uh, it runs open WRT <laughs> On the back of it, you've got your 12 volt or 24 volt inputs. 
you've got a two and a half gig WAN port. There is a one gig LAN port, and then there's a USB 2 port. All of these aerials are removable. So if you wanted to use an external aerial, you can remove the ones. So these actually came in a box. So Mimo 1, 2, 3, and 4. Mimo 1 and 2, which is for Wi Fi. Actually, these two are Wi Fi 2 as well. So I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay, they're 5 NR. They're 5 NR. Their Wi Fi 6. So maybe I've got cables wrong on this one, but I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um, so box itself, a bit bigger than I thought than I was expecting it to be. Um, two and a half gig WAN is nice. A two and a half gig LAN would be nicer. Given that, okay, if I plug this into something that has two and a half gig WAN, I would like to be able to get two and a half gig out of it. Um, if we go around the side here. I'm gonna try and take off this aerial. Ah. And typically, I've picked the wrong side, haven't I? So it's this side I need to remove. So, do 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 do. Okay, so under this panel here. If I can open it one handed. In here we have two SIM card slots. Now there's only one modem, but it can be set up that if the signal on one one SIM card isn't great, it can swap to the signal or signal on the second one. That can be auto swapped over. There is a micro SD slot, I have a 64 gig micro SD card in here that can be used for creating an SMB file share or um, if you, uh, web dav or any other type of file share that's supported. And um, yeah, that's it. Like, it's not heavy, it's heavy enough, but it's not cumbersome enough. I suppose with the aerials, it gets a bit awkward wouldn't be able to just throw this into a bag. You would have to take the aerials off and plug the aerials back in again. Um, so each time you're going somewhere, you will have to swap. But other than that, I mean, it's a nice little device. Um, you could mount this, technically you can mount this in different places. Um, one of the options that they suggest on the website is how to mount it in an RV or camper van um, and they actually have links to um, where you can buy replacement antennas specifically for camper vans so that you may have an antenna on the roof that has a mix of um, 4G uh, 4G, 5G and Wi-Fi although I suppose in reality on your roof you'd probably just want 4G and 5G and then inside of the camper van you'd have your Wi-Fi antennas so you'd want these two at the side connected to your uh, 5G uh, aerials um, your outside aerials and then inside you would have your standard uh, your standard aerials hooked up that way so that might be that might be one option um, or if you have this mounted in a house you could have aerials on your roof and hook them up that way uh, it does have GPS there is no web interface for it it has to be done through the command line but it is possible to run uh, or to get a GPS signal out of this um so you could potentially use it for tracking so again if it's in an rv or a car or something like that you could use it for tracking the car and figuring out where it is one thing i would like to try and figure out is can it be used for gp or for uh ntp so pick the gps up and use that for ntp uh so originally this was planned to be thrown into my bag for when I need to go somewhere and I need a 5G connection, which is what this 
was originally for this being that bit smaller I might swap back this doesn't run open WRT and it definitely doesn't have half the features this one does so I might keep this I might just try and figure something out uh, else with the aerials but um so yeah so that's the GLI net um GLX 3000NR it's a Wi-Fi 6 router and any of the details that are on the back of that I'll probably change so ignore them so um there you have it I will have a link to it in the description if anybody wants to have a look and um get one and um yeah happy days so until next time have a good one good luck mind yourself bye now